The Adventures of Godhart Begins. Vagabond. I don't think so. Warrior. Well, yes. Hero. Definitely. Bandit? No. Astrologer, prophet, samurai, prisoner, confessor. Rich? I don't think so. Hello, hello. How's it going? Let's do a quality control. Does everything look good or sound good? I'm good, thank you. I want the music to be louder, I think. Because it's awesome. Sounds good. In that case, we can begin. Thank you, thank you. So this will be a new character called Gotthard. Now I've already Save the preset. It's this guy right here. And I also wrote him a rule set. Now, if you type exclamation point got heart in the chat, You can see the playthrough rules. But basically, it's going to be a strength build. Um, also, I have to fight every single strong enemy. Now, that counts world bosses, regular bosses, or anything that looks strong. I will kind of decide as I go, but... So yeah, no summons means... Well, no co-op or online summons, but also no spirit summons. 
uh, melee on this, so no bow or crossbow or any sort of ranged weapon. Big weapons, fist weapons only. Uh, you will see what I mean about those. Torrent is the horse. Uh, in boss fights, I will try not to use torrent too much. I said fearless combat, minimum cheese. Uh, yeah, I will try not to cheese bosses much or enemies. Never run away from combat. Pretty self-explanatory. All strong enemies must be vanquished. And when you kill a remembers boss with a weapon, that weapon is forfeit. That's the most important rule. Let's say I have a very highly upgraded weapon. And I just killed a remembrance boss with it. I can no longer use that weapon. I have to find a new weapon. I think that will add some extra challenge to this playthrough. So let's type got heart. Uh, what should I do, Yank? Young or mature? Yeah, let's do mature actually. Sounds interesting. I think so, yeah. Now, for the keepsake, this is just an extra item or two you get at the beginning of the game. It's not that important. Um, I'm thinking... Let's get some... Let's get the stone sword keys so we can go into the first optional area. You'll see what I mean. Oops, I accidentally. Okay, very good. Yeah, that's it. We can start. <clears throat> so the audio is balanced. Uh, the music is not over overpowering my voice or I'm not overpowering the music. Not right now, okay. Okay, then we can start. this guy's voice so much now Queen Marika the Eternal is nowhere to be found and in the night of the black knives Godwin the Golden was first to perish Godwin the Golden. Soon, Marika's offspring, demigods all, claimed the shards of the Elden Ring. The mad taint of their newfound strength triggered the shattering. A war from which no lord arose. 
A war leading to abandonment by the greater will. Oh, rise now, ye tarnished, ye dead who yet live. The call of long lost grace speaks to us all. Horalu, chieftain of the Badlands. The ever brilliant gold mask. Fear, the deathbed companion. The loathsome dung eater. And Sir Gideon Othnir. The all knowing. Ah, that voice. And one other, whom grace would again bless. A tarnished of no renown. Cross the fog to the lands between. To stand before the Elden Ring and become the Elden Lord. I intend to. And we're in. Ah, uh, shit. I forgot to go offline. I don't want to play online, damn it. Okay, whatever. So here we are. Wait, there's nothing outside here. Got hearts. Got heart the strong. So, in this playthrough, I intend to use big weapons only, but we start with a battle axe. So, for now, I have to use this weapon. But I will try to get a by big weapon, I mean like a grace sword minimum. How is the visual quality? Does it look crispy enough? Are there any stutters? Okay, I see. Hopefully it will be fine. Alright, let's begin then. So this guy is a tutorial boss, but you're not supposed to be able to kill him. Ah. 
Nah, I'm dead. Yeah, you are kind of supposed to die to that guy. You can kill him. I've never managed to yet. Because um, you don't have heals or anything really. But you can kill him. You can also go back and kill him later as well. Don't worry, Torrent. Fortune is on his side. We found him here, after all. One of his kind is sure to seek the Elden Ring. Even if it does violate the Golden Order. Now we begin. So, if you go down here, there's some tutorial stuff which would be useful for me right now because I still have like neo controls in my head. Brave Tarnished, take the plunge of learning and remembrance. Recall the arts of war and your warrior's blood. I am a warrior. Let's get rid of this shield. I don't need it. This is the site of grace, basically a checkpoint. Like the shrines in Neo 2. Come on then. Is there no one who can pose a challenge to great God heart? Honorable Craven hiding behind his shield. I bathe in the blood of mine enemies.
visions of stealth this for the week That's a silly hat. Silly hat man. So I have the tutorials turned off actually, but normally you would be getting like a bunch of pop-ups, pop-up tutorials that pause the game, which is very annoying for me. But um, this is a stake of Marika. Basically, if you see one of these statues, that means when you die, you have the option to respawn at this statue instead of the shrine we rest at. So it's quite useful. And now the tutorial boss, actual tutorial boss. Felt. I'm sure everything is looking super easy right now, but because it is uh, in the tutorial. Strength! That's how, not how the actual game is supposed to be, though. Let's put the strength gesture up. I'm sure I will make use of that. Yeah. So this is the, you know, as a starting gift, I got the stone sword keys. You can use those keys on these guys. Open up these optional sections. Like that. Now I know what's in there. I don't know if I want to go there yet. As fearless as I am. I think I'll wait a little bit, at least until I get, get my uh, grace sword. Here we are, in Limgrave. Hello. Oh, yes. Tarnished, are we? <laughs> Come to the lands between for the Elden Ring? Hmm? Of course you have. No shame in it. Unfortunately for you, however, you are maidenless. Without guidance, without the strength of runes, and without an invitation to the round table hold, you are fated. It seems 
to die in obscurity. This is a rude man. I could kill him. Luckily for you, however, there is one shining ray of hope for even the maidenless. Me. Vare. Take care to listen. Are you familiar with grace? The golden light that gives life to you tarnished. You may also behold its golden rays pointing in a particular direction at times. That is the guidance of grace. A path that a tarnished must travel. Hmm, indeed. Grace's guidance holds the answers. It will lead you tarnished to the path you are meant to follow, even if it leads you to your grave. <laughs> but what he's talking about is you get these rays of light from now that is uh, size of grace. Basically, it points you to your boss, uh, the main boss that is, boss you're supposed to kill, usually. So, yeah. It's kind of hand-holdy, but I, re I already know where I'm going, so... Grace's guidance will reveal the path forward, most certainly, to Castle Stormvale, over on the cliff, the home of the decrepit demigod, Godric the Drafted. It's time you set off, I should think. To Castle Stormvale on the cliff, where Grace would guide you. If you seek the Elden Ring, maidenless as you are. Godric the Grafted sounds like a worthy foe. I am just cracked into it, but no one cares. So.